my last video didn't make very much sense because on, on one hand, I'm criticizing Donald Trump for um, getting into a, uh, a British military style, like old red coat style shooting match with muskets where we don't know who's going to die because he killed Soleimani. And next thing you know, you don't know if World War III is going to break out and you don't know if a lot of your troops are going to end up getting killed because you don't know exactly what their retaliation is going to be. And you're giving them the opportunity to retaliate first, which could be good. Maybe I don't know enough about, about military, but um, how, how can I criticize him for that while I'm saying I would nuke people? Well, number one, I also said I would nuke people with congressional approval, but I mean, if I really, really had to, and the Joint Chiefs of Staff agreed with me, and it was one nuke missile, and, and it was like that extreme of a circumstance that I didn't want to in, in, in involve Congress, like we knew someone was about to nuke us from Cuba or something, um, then like would I be down to use a nuke? That's one missile which has a two mile blast radius, um, or actually I think it's a one mile blast radius, but two two mile fallout radius. And so um, I think leaving nukes off the table would be a poor decision, but I think that going straight for nukes would be a awful decision. So it, like you don't want to use nukes in, in a small military type situation, but um, generally I don't want to use our, mil like would I end our dr drone strike, pro strike program completely? Yes. Would all military strikes come from me? Yes. So if people are getting killed in Pakistan, would I be the one doing it? Yes. So would there be a massive or like decrease in violence from me or from the United States if I became president? Yes. But um, at the same time, would it be on the table for me to just commit mass murder? Well, I mean, not without congressional approval. Um, but that's why during my first four years, I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to solve the energy crisis. I'm trying to, um, ra like massively change the culture of the United States so that we can drop our carbon emissions, but also so that we can, um, drop our fuel consumption. But then after four years, I'm going to be campaigning on a campaign of going to war because I want to go steal people's oil and I want to use their oil to build these things and I want to have a special economic zone and the reason that I need a special economic zone is because I want to sh I, I like am I going to be the only dictator of Nevada no like um, we're going to have a um, um, we're going to have Jack Ma Jack Ma is going to be the, uh, the a co-dictator of Nevada um, we're going to have an um, um, uh, international team of people that would be in control of that area because it's going to require so much investment that this would not just be an American investment this would be a very international investment and that's why when I talk about having all these colleges that feed into this one university, and there's all, and, but only one, but the, but the English speaking colleges in New Jerusalem, but hey, you could have have very nice um, knockoffs in New Jerusalem and, and other parts. In fact, probably the the pyramids that are built in like pyramid number seven thousand is going to be way nicer than the first Jerusalem pyramid. But the Jerusalem pyramid is also going to be for tourism. Um, even though there's a daycare there, which is, takes up a lot of the area, which makes it a lot less expensive because you can just have like bouncy areas instead of having like fancy granite everywhere. Um, like even that, that area is kind of closed off um, like where the kids actually are. But then like, but it, it's, but New Jerusalem would still be a tourism area because we need to raise money. And so this is a business venture. Um, and that's why, um, I don't know exactly how we're going to split, split it up, but um, it's it, but it, that's why we need a special economic zone because we need so much Chinese investment because we're going to bring in like, like you think that um, five pyramids is a lot. It's not. And we're going to bring in um, Chinese builders to build themselves pyramids. And we're talking about a mass mig migration to Nevada, which would be great for Nevada's economy, but that's assuming that we can work out the water issues. So we have to figure out how to work out desalination which could be tough. But yeah, so in some circumstance, like it is, I, I believe in being very patient in, in, in going, coming to violence. Like you, you don't, you don't show your hand at all. And then like, once you're to that point, then you release extreme violence. You don't do little bits of petty violence, which maybe I don't understand the Soleimani situation, which is probably true. I probably don't understand Soleimani, but 
um, he can poke me pretty bad before I want to start assassinating people. But if I, unless I'm going to assassinate him in a really secret way, not with like a, a drone strike, that would, that's a pretty obvious, um, thing. Um, but for the most part, I would probably like, if I'm going to kill Soleimani, I'm going to kill Rouhani and I'm going to kill everyone else. Um, and I, I'm, I mean, so I, I'm, I'm less prone to getting us into a war by accident and I'm more prone to getting us into a war on purpose, but I'm not going to get us into a war on purpose without congressional approval. And that's why I'm a better person from an international relations perspective from like, for like safety, even though I'm for nukes, because think about it. If I, if I kill everyone with, with nuclear launch codes in Iran, who's going to, who's going to launch nukes at us? But if I oops, start start getting and, and then I let them nuke us first, then um, people are going to get then a lot of Americans are going to die. So it's like mm, that's why that's why I'm I'm actually better for for safety.